Hi everyone, I know that you're working on two different research assignments for Gen Edge 219 and so I wanted to share with you how the library can support you as you're working on those assignments. So far we've looked at how to get started accessing library resources and how to find resources for your provincial resources assignment. In this video we're going to look at how you can get started on your research assignment and how you can identify the issues that you want to address. For your research paper, you're going to choose a general topic to discuss from the list provided by your professor. And once you've chosen a general topic, you'll need to identify some issues related to that topic that will become the subtopics for your research paper. So to help you identify the issues or subtopics you'll discuss in your paper, we're going to head to the Gen Ed 219 Library Guide. And you can access the guide through your eCentennial course shell, as well as through this link here on the screen. So I'm going to pop in here now to show you around. Uh, previously, we looked at the Provincial Resources tab when we were looking at our Provincial Resources assignment. Now we're going to choose the Research Assignment tab. On this tab, your librarians have chosen a few different places where you can go to identify the issues that will become the subtopics for your assignment. Choosing your subtopics isn't going to be easy, and you may have to search a few different places to really get a sense of the important issues related to your topic. So we're going to search some of these resources listed below um, and then kind of work like a, a detective to identify some of the key themes. So first we're going to start by searching reference sources and encyclopedias. These resources are great because they contain easy to understand information on a wide range of issues. So I would suggest trying to search any or all of these resources to find information on your topic. For now I'm going to start by searching the Canadian Points of View Reference Center. So I'm just going to pop in here now show you what the resource looks like. Um, you'll see here we've got a search box at the top of the screen. I prefer scrolling down the screen here and instead browsing by category um, to try to find an overview related to my topic. So for instance, if you're working on the topic about the impact of immigration on the Canadian workplace, you might want to check out this section here on culture. I can click on more here and then see, oh, there's, an, there's a topic on multiculturalism here. So I'm just going to click on this article, see what it's all about. Once you get in the article, you're going to want to kind of skim through the article, see what it's all about, see if there's any content connected to your research topic. So as I scroll through, I can see here that, okay, um, you know, if we scroll through here, we'll see, oh, this, this section here is about immigrant workers. Um, so this looks pertinent to, to my research question. So next I'm going to try to take note of any key words or concepts that are jumping out at me uh, connected to immigration and to the Canadian workplace. So here, if I, I read through, I can see, oh, there's this idea of foreign credentials and foreign experience or degrees. These might be some key concepts that I, I want to look at through my paper. I can also see here they're talking about economic barriers that immigrants face. As well here, they're talking about Muslim immigrants specifically and them facing hostility or suspicion in the workplace, as well as this idea of intolerance um, and potential racism against immigrants in the workplace. So all of these keywords that are jumping out at me, we've already been able to identify some potential subtopics for my research paper. This idea of foreign credentials, economic barriers, as well as intolerance faced by immigrants in the workplace. So we were able to quickly find some subtopics just by looking in Canadian Points of View Reference Center, but just because this was an easy process doesn't necessarily mean that it will be easy for you to identify the themes that you want to discuss. Um, I'm going to head back to the Gen Edge 219 guide and just show you a few other places that you might want to search if you're not able to find everything you need in Canadian Points of View Reference Center. So after you check out some of these reference sources and encyclopedias, you might also want to look at newspaper articles to see if there are any issues related to your topic being discussed in the news. Canadian News Stream here is a really good place to search. Um, and finally, if you're, if you're still having trouble identifying some subtopics, Google can also be a good place to look to find reports, government documents, or just general background information. You'll see I've included some, some tips here for how to search Google, so I'm going to pop into Google now and show you what I mean. So once you're in Google, you're just going to want to type in a few words connected to your research question. So I can search for Canada, workplace, and immigration, and hit search. And you'll see here, you know, we're, we're finding a few good resources popping up related to uh, workplace uh, immigration in the Canadian workplace. But sometimes when we're searching Google, it can be really hard to kind of cut through the clutter, find that good quality information. So to do that, what we might want to do is, is look specifically at reports, um, either from nonprofit organizations or other organizations. And oftentimes these reports that are posted online are posted as PDFs. So if we wanted to just look at PDF reports that are coming up, 
We could pop in here file type colon PDF and hit search. And this is just going to allow us to find PDFs published related to our research question. Just a nice easy way to get that good quality information to come to the top of our search results. Another thing that we might want to do is we might want to look for government information connected to our topic, especially since it's a specifically Canadian issue. So we might want to find Government of Canada information. So to do that, what we can do here is we can pop in site colon dot gc dot ca and hit search. And this is going to find any sites that end in dot gc dot ca. And most Government of Canada websites end in .gc.ca. So this is again allowing us to just find that Government of Canada information, really bring that good quality information to the top of our search results. Okay, so now we've been able to check out a few different resources to help us identify those issues connected to our research question. Um, so we've been able to really identify those issues. In the next video, we're going to look at how we can find some, some additional research related to our subtopics through the library website.